Hello and welcome guys. Welcome back to the Real Things Podcast. Today, I have a very interesting video lineup for you guys. In this video today that I am going to be talking about with you. Now, before I go any further, if you guys are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching the Real Things Podcast once again. And if you are new here, thank you for coming over. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube, a follow or if you're on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, please remember to turn on your post notification bell so you will be alerted as soon as we upload a new content. Yes. So in today's video, I'm going to be playing a clip. Now I'm going to be playing it in an audio form because, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not sure I'm, I'm allowed to show like all of the person's identity and whatnot so i'm going to play it in audio form however i want you to get down in the comments and tell me what are your thoughts on this lady so in today's video this lady is talking about things that are serious 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 matters building blocks that helps to keep maintaining a relationship building blocks that maintains a relationship because you know a lot of us falls victim to these things you get in a relationship and after the few the, the first few couple months or weeks or years everything is all right and then after a while people start drifting because we get caught up in so many different things especially as women what we do is immerse ourselves into motherhood into keeping the home until you know sometimes we tend to forget that key 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 thing that bonds a relationship that bonds people that keeps a relationship together i, I see the building blocks so i want you to listen in and tell me what you guys think about this what the lady is saying and we'll talk some more let us listen in first little when i met my husband 12 years ago i worked him to an open back he was not able to stand up properly for a while. I, I, I am in, in short, I am a bedroom bully. I don't know if you get that. I want to play one more time. Just listen to this. When I met my husband 12 years ago, I worked him to an open back. He was not able to stand up properly. For a while i i i am in in short i am a bedroom bully what and it is two things that i am good for any bad words any inappropriate words that you can find to describe a woman that is who i am at home okay no what she's saying when she met her husband basically they hit it off and she worked him to a pulp she messed up his back that he could hardly stand up this is kind of hilarious and i might i might i can understand if you want to laugh because when i first heard it i laughed because it's so a bit hilarious but as you listen further into the 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 the, the audio you, you you understand what she's trying to get across. I'm going to play it a little bit more and let you guys understand fully. And I said to him, I know the introduction is rough, but this is who I am. And when I was done, I said to him, we're going to go to church. It is two things I'm known for. Bedroom and prayer. I was... I minister in the church then, not pastor, but I was on the choir and all of that. And I stepped down. And we would still go to church, but I wouldn't take any leading part. And I said to him, you are going to spend the rest of your life with me. That time I just break up with a pastor. I, I was engaged to a doctor, left him. I was engaged to a principal, gave him back his ring. Him, the last one know was a pastor. Ended with him, and then I met my husband now, and I said to him, "You is what I'm looking for." 
Okay. So she's been somebody who is, you know, she's one of the person who has been out there and it appears to be that she was not finding the right one to step up to the table. Lady seems like she's very, you know, mature, masculine, firm, and knows what she wants. Now, something I want to point out here. In today's society, when a woman, if a woman, or when a woman should come out and speak boldly like this, in today's society, we would shun them. And if a woman should look around and say, you know, well, you're too soft, you're too soft. I'm going to choose that one because that one could manage. I can, That one could manage me because I'm a firm, a strong, I'm a bedroom bully. In today's society, we tend to probably want to call that woman like, what's she going like she's a man, some man to her, something, something. Today's society does not see a woman as a dominant a dominator in the bedroom men in today's society is supposed to like the way how society has it is like men are to be the dominators so then you have a bunch of women like a bunch of us end up being like not not dominant we 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 we, we, we succumb to you know this thought of okay yes the bedroom is our business but the male is supposed to be you know above us and control of the bedroom business mm. you know sometimes i want to think that these are some of the reasons why you know when you see we we, we fall to this kind of nonsense men the, the, the amount of ego that is in a man the amount of pleasure that they're looking for i want to think that sometimes these things will push them outside because they're looking for more driving force and i'm going to let you guys hear what exactly this lady is saying so she's telling her her husband you're the one for me i've been through it all with others and you're standing up yeah you're about mash up but two things that you ought to know about me is that i'm a bedroom bully and i'm a prayer warrior <laughs> that's some serious things that's some serious serious weapons i want you to listen to the video some more i hope that it's clear enough that you guys can hear it and yes i deal with him rough and he rise to the occasion he rise he never complain back mm -hmm. mash up but him rise to the occasion mm -hmm. wow i know my role in the home and i said to him don't let me wear a jacket suit for you I am a family counselor okay. and I'm gonna practice what I was taught on you. All so, right. so all right. So basically she's saying not because she's a person that dresses in a suit and a and a tie or a jacket suit and she's in the corporate world, do not let that fool you because she knows how to handle her business in the bedroom. Boy, I think for most men for men or for most active men who are active sexually this would have been everything that they're looking for but as you go further she's teaching us something this the reason for me sharing this is for educational purpose because she's teaching us something even though as she goes further into the into the video she's telling us that even though it is she's giving him all the pleasures that a man should have or a woman a pleasures that a woman should be giving to her man she's still saying that nobody would take her husband but listen 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 in some more much into church and your profession and your this and that highty tighty like crystal and girl i go take one a man from one no man can take with my husband that cannot happen. And so you are saying, then him don't cheat. All men cheat. Yep. He was born with seeds. And that is because he's a hunter. Men are hunters. I think men are If they don't cheat with their way. bodies, they cheat with their mind. And yes. that is why the Bible call looking at another woman adultery. Yes. So, with that being said, I know where his heart is. And from that that day I deal with him rough. My <laughs> husband has never left my side since. Wow. I found 
the missing piece. You hear what the lady said? So he rose to the occasion and that is what she's been missing all the time. But go back to what I was saying earlier. You know, as, as she was saying that not because she's dressed up in a jacket suit, do not look down on her because she knows how to handle her business. And mind you, she's also saying that a lot, that, that part of the video may not have played clearly. She's also saying that in society, a lot of people get too highty tighty enough the real world out the world and they get caught up like not gets too high to tighty they get caught up in the real world behave high to tighty and all of that but the bedroom business is not being taken care of i mean you cannot you cannot put that under the rug you cannot put that under the rug because that is a key part of keeping creating any lasting relationship some people would like to push it aside and say, man, that no matter, that's supposed to come after. But how are you going to bond? How, how do you bond? Yes, you bond by talking. You learn stuff about somebody, especially when you just meet somebody. You, 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 you reach out to get to know, you go around them. And eventually it will lead to that bonding agent, which is the SEX part of it. All right. Because then maybe the reason why she had gone through so many other different relationships or a few other relationships was because she tested the waters. She tested the waters. And people might look up, look down on her and say, boy, boy, the woman didn't know what she wanted. But she knows what she wants. In the end, she says she has found her missing piece or the missing piece. She has found it, finally found it in her husband and because he rose to the occasion. So it goes back to say that I choose to share this video because, for educational purposes because, see, she's been through a teacher. She's been through a lawyer, if I'm remembering correctly. Been through a pastor. And in the end, I do not know what this husband is. But she's been through it all. And she wasn't finding what it was that she needed. That bonding agent which is the bedroom business and she's saying that we need to rise to the occasion as women and do what we can but please but in but also remember please remember that that still does not stop men from cheating because they were born that way because even if they don't physically go out there and be with somebody they're gonna think things they're gonna watch and I don't I don't know if a man would come to me and tell me right now any man in this watching this video will come to me and tell me right now oh I don't cheat I never cheat come on sometimes they say that the, 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 the mind can be a mysterious place you will see something are you walking on the road or you see somebody you're probably watching a movie you see a post on a wall Funny things are going to run through your mind. And that's cheating. Nobody is perfect. But that's besides the point. The point is, even though that you're doing what you're doing in the bedroom as a woman, it, they're still going to stray. But the point is, they might strain thoughts, but not physically. Because you are giving them what they need. You know? But the moral of the story is, let us not ignore our duties. Let us not push them under the rug. I know that society has it a way where we don't even get time for ourselves. Sometimes we drink in water and the way the speed, how we drink in the water is faster than the speed of lightning is because your brain is ticking because you have to go and catch up. Time is running away from you. But let us not run away or forget our duties as women. And yeah, let us basically rekindle the flame let us continue to give our significant others their time of day because reason for me saying so there is so many broken relationships nowadays two things are the main culprit finance and bedroom business <laughs> so guys i want to end the video here today and we'll come back again on another one with another interesting topic. Thank you very much for choosing to watch The Real Things Podcast. I'll see you again on the next one.
Bye-bye.